welcome to the Oasis. My name's Mike, and today I'm going to be showing you guys and girls how to sideload applications onto your Oculus Go. Now, last week I did a video showing me playing a Game Boy emulator on the Oculus Go, and I asked you guys and girls in the video if you'd be interested in a guide on how to achieve this yourself. And the response was overwhelmingly yes. So I didn't want to disappoint you guys and girls, so I'm putting this guide together for you and in an easy to follow way. So you just have to follow the steps step by step and then you should be up and running, sideloading applications onto your Oculus Go in no time. So for those of you that are not aware of this or don't really understand what this means, it just means that you can sideload applications that aren't necessarily authorized by Oculus uh, to increase your experience uh, with the Oculus Go by using applications such as Nolo, or maybe you wanna use an emulator like I used, or maybe now that Oculus TV is launched, you can sideload the Steam Link app in there and stream your Steam games directly from your PC to your Oculus Go. So there's lots of reasons why you'd wanna do this, and to achieve it, you need to follow this simple guide first. So I'll be going through it step by step, and I'll break it down into easy to follow steps. And then at the end, I'll also put a link for Mac users as well. I, I didn't wanna leave you guys and girls out. So first off, before we get into the guide, I just wanna say thank you to the sponsor of this video, Seeding VR. Seeding VR is an equity crowdfunding portal specific to the growing immersive technology industry. And their goal is to make it easier for people to find and invest in VR, AR, and MR projects they feel passionate about. Think of it like Kickstarter, but you're actually investing in these startups and will own equity shares in these companies. You can buy shares for as little as £100 if you live in the UK or Europe, and you can invest in newly launched projects such as Somium Space, where you can buy virtual real estate, or invest in VR education with Immersive 4 Learning. The great thing about these shares is they come with full rights. This includes full dividend participation, capital distribution, and voting rights per share. So if you're interested in investing into the future of immersive technology, I'll put a link to Seeding VR in the description down below. Now let's move on to the guide. Step one, enabling developer mode. Okay, so the first step is we need to create a developer account on the Oculus website using your browser. Click on the link in the description down below and log into your Oculus account. Now you'll need to create a new organization. Now don't worry about this, you can just put anything in here. I added mine as Virtual Reality Oasis. Once you've got your developer account registered, go over to your Oculus app on your mobile device and ensure that your headset is connected. Once it's connected, press on it, go to More Settings, Developer Mode, and enable the toggle. And that is step one out of the way. Step two, Android Debug Bridge. In this step, I'm gonna show you how to download and install ADB drivers. Now, this is the tool that communicates from your PC to your Oculus Go headset. Now, I had nothing but problems with the Oculus ADB drivers, so I've actually used the ADB drivers provided by Nolo when I tested out their CV1 kit. Now, what I've done is I've hosted these ADB drivers on my own Dropbox account, and I've put a link to it in the description down below so you can download them yourself. Once you've downloaded the drivers, extract the folder contents and navigate to Platform Tools. Now, copy the whole contents of this folder and then navigate to your C drive, Users, and then your name. And then just paste the whole contents into that folder directory. Now, this may seem like a bit of a strange step to do, but it's gonna save you time, especially later on if you're not proficient with using the command prompt tool and navigating around folders and directories within command prompt. So now you wanna go ahead and connect your Oculus Go to your PC. Once you've done that, go to the search button, which is next to the Windows icon in the bottom left of your taskbar. In there, type in CMD. Now that stands for command prompt. Then you'll see this black box open and it will be a text interface. Now all you need to do is simply type ADB and hit return. And if you see this text come up, then you know you're doing the right thing. From this point on, all you need to do is type in ADB devices, and then you'll probably come up with this uh, where it says uh, a device is attached, but in your case, it will likely be unauthorized. Now all you need to do is put the headset on and press through the menu using your Oculus Go controller. 
Now go back to the terminal interface and type in ADB devices again and now you should see that your Oculus Go has got a sort of serial number and it's an authorized device now and you should be able to connect to it and now you should have your VR headset directory pop up and showing you the files inside. This means that you've successfully installed ADB and you've got your device connected to it and you're up and running. Step 3. Installing applications. So applications are known as APKs and this stands for Android Package Kit. For this demonstration I'll be showing you how to install the Steam Link APK. If you're interested I'll put a link to it in the description down below from the APK Mirror website. Now there are tons of other APKs you can download from this site so go ahead and try some out for yourself. So let's go ahead and download the Steam Link APK and we want to make sure that we've got the latest version. Once downloaded, go to your download folder and change the file name to Steam Link, just so it's easier for us to install. Now you want to move the APK to your C drive, forward slash users, forward slash your name directory, where we previously copied the files for ADB. Now paste your APK in that folder, and then as we did before, you want to connect your Oculus Go to your PC, run the command prompt, which is CMD in uh, the search bar, Type in ADB, ADB devices and ensure that your Oculus Go is connected to your PC. And then once we've connected and we're good to go, then all you need to do is type in ADB install steamlink.apk. Obviously, if you're installing another APK, it will just be the name of the APK you're installing. You'll then get an update whether it's been successful or not. And then you can go ahead and test out the application. With the Steam Link APK in particular, it will allow you to stream PC games from your desktop PC on your Oculus Go by using the Oculus TV application. When you fire up the Oculus TV application, you can just scroll down to applications and then you'll see the Steam Link application in there. And then you just run through the setup process and you can stream PC games to your Oculus Go. Just be aware if using the Steam Link, connect your Xbox controller to your PC, not your headset as the controller through the headset isn't supported just yet. So you can control games through your PC whilst using your headset as a display and that works absolutely fine as long as you've got a decent internet connection. With other APKs such as the Game Boy emulator, if you go to library and then on the left hand side you'll see the bar saying unknown sources, that will be located in there instead and you can just load it from there. If you're on Windows, that is the end of the guide. I hope you guys and girls have enjoyed this one and you can jump straight to the outro if you're interested. Step four is gonna be for Mac users. If you wanna install and use ADB whilst using a Mac, I've got you covered in this segment of the guide. So you'll still need to do step one where you'll be required to enable developer mode and create a developer account. Once you've done that, go to the link in the description below which shows a helpful guide from headjack.io. On this guide from headjack.io, there's some really easy to use commands which you can just copy and paste into terminal to install ADB and get that up and running on your Mac. So first things first, you wanna open terminal, which is essentially the command prompt for Mac. And to find it, you need to navigate to finder, applications, utilities, and terminal. Once you've got terminal open, just go to headjack.io and copy this command line and then just paste it into terminal and press enter. Now this will take a little bit of time to install all the things it needs to do. So just give it some time and wait for it to come up with your name again. Once it's done that, now go and put the second command line in and then press enter again and this will install ADB. Once ADB is installed, just type ADB and if it runs like this, then you know you're good to go. At this point, connect your Oculus Go to your Mac and then type in ADB devices. Now you should see the serial number of your Oculus Go and it will probably come up saying unauthorized if this is the first time you've connected it to your Mac. All you need to do is put the headset on and then use the Oculus Go controller to enter through the menu and then allow uh, access through the headset uh, and press always allow access. And then you'll never have to see this ever again. Once you've done that, go back to terminal and type in ADB devices again, and then you'll see the serial number of your Go and it will now be authorized. And now you can go ahead and install some APKs. As an example, I will show you how to install ES Explorer, which is essentially a file explorer app, which can be useful in the Go when you want to sort of remove or explore some of the applications that you've installed. 
Now this application will appear in the Oculus TV app, like the previous uh, application I showed you on the Windows Guide, which was the Steam Link ap application. So what we do is we download the ES Explorer APK, we have it in our downloads folder, and we just need to rename it so it's an easy file to find. So I've just renamed it. And now in terminal we want to navigate to the downloads folder to say this is what the one we need to install. So to do that all we type is cd space capital D downloads and hit enter and that will change the directory in terminal to our downloads folder. At this point we need to type in adb install and then the file name of the apk you want to install. Hit return and then you should get a notification whether it was successful or not. And there you have it, you've installed ADB and some APKs on your Oculus Go from your Mac. So, now that we're all done with the guide, let's jump straight to the outro. So there we have it guys and girls, that is the guide to sideload applications onto your Oculus Go and I hope it helped you guys and girls out. I'd love to know in the comments down below what are the applications that you're going to be sideloading on your Oculus Go because there's so many options out there and the community are really the ones that are testing all these out and sharing the best ones. So I'd love to know which ones you're checking out. Also, if you've got any problems, chuck them in the comments down below and I'll try and help you out as best as I can. If this video helped you, please leave a like, make sure you're subscribed for all my future content and as always, I'll see you on the next one. Cheers.